Hershey Evans, number one, Brick Wall University. Rowan Bros, number 10, D Man Academy. Linden Track, 11, Bar Down Academy. Braden Pearson, number 12, Wheeling Academy. Zach Brenneman, boy, number 17, Boyce Middle School. Lucas Jones, 18, Checking Academy. Jimmy Halliday, 19, Little Pens Academy. Cam Pelly, number 27, from K-12 Online School. Rylan Calabrese, 30, Shutdown Academy. Owen Golanak, number 53, Bar Down Academy. David Trappel, number 57, and I'm from Clap Bomb Academy. Joey Costa, 59, Eden Hall Academy. Danny Foster, 88, Mercer Elementary School. Jack Carlson, 90, Back Check Your Butt Off Academy. Tyler Bullis, number 92, Hit Academy. D'Angelo Flume, 97, Top Shelf Academy. and welcome back to Detroit, actually Plymouth, Michigan. For the fifth and final, the ultimate game of pool play in the Challenger Series from Detroit, it'll be the Toronto Marlboros and your Pittsburgh Penguins Elite. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Plymouth Cultural Center and Ice Rink. Yes, the Plymouth Cultural Center and Ice Rink. In Plymouth, Michigan, you are in the city oven with color commentator, the Commodore George Pearson. Great to be back in the booth here, Jeremy, for what promises to be an epic final game of this round robin showcase, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. And so it matches two historic teams, the Penns Elite and the Toronto Marlboros. Uh, teams that have played once before. A game up in Canada. Mm -hmm. A 3-2 to two Penguins victory. 3-2 Penguins win. But, however, do we want to talk about it? No. Okay. No, we want to let these guys play. There were some oddities in the game. So the Penguins looking to build on what has been a stellar start to the Challenger series here. And we'll also later get into a little bit of the format of the tournament, which we're also not 100% sure of. So we'll uh, we'll get into some of that here as we are underway in net for the Penguins. Number 30, Rylan Calabri, your defense. Number 10, Rowan Bros, and number 11, Linden Track. Up front for the Penguins, number 18, 
Lucas Jones, number 19, Jimmy Halliday, and number 12 at center, Braden Pearsall. Good chances early for the Penguins on the rush, huh, boys? Pens are buzzing here, Jeremy, right off the opening draw. Marlboros come down and get a shot of their own from well outside. That's handled well by Calabrese. The Cannoli. The Cannoli, he's been in rare form. This, right. this uh, The tournament so far, has he allowed a goal yet? He has not. Oh, well, I shouldn't have said it. Yeah. I shouldn't have said it. Okay. It was fine. actually apparently an offside play, despite Calabrese having the puck. Okay. Help if we if I paid a little more attention to what was going on in the ice, maybe. As the Penguins win the draw for Foster, it's knocked away from Costa. Shot wide of the Cannoli cage. Picked up by the Marlboros, a centering feed off of Bolas and behind for Carlson to find Costa. Costa coming up the near side here. You'll notice the unique vantage point here at the Cultural Center Ice Rink. We are right in line with about the faceoff dots in the Marley's defensive zone. So first and third period goals will be stellar. Uh, we want to give a shout out to Mike Jones giving you the zoom in, zoom out camera work that's going to be necessary here today uh, from this vantage point. So special thanks to him as we're, we're not at center ice. It makes it a little more difficult. Yeah, Mike, uh, one of the most experienced camera operators we have, did a great job last weekend in York uh, against that mid-Fairfield series, and he's promising to put on a display here this evening. He said he's very good with the fingers wow. on the zoom in and zoom out. Okay. Penguins control the face off on their offside play. Here's Pelly up the outside, bouncing puck controlled by the OG. Under some pressure, the Marlies come in and take it away. Rolling puck at center, defended well. Look at the gap at Chappie early. Playing with confidence, able to send it forward to Pearsall. Head up, driving, centering pass. Comes off a couple skates. It'll be Pelly right down. Main right there it is. The flex in front and finds the back of the page. The net. It's Cameron Pelly and crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery fudge. Nuggets the Penguins lead by one. The number one star yesterday afternoon, Jeremy, and he is on the board early. We are one minute and 31 seconds into the contest. Cameron Pelly for the Pets. And that puts your Penguins up a goal early. Huge goal. And we'll see if they can continue here as the OG darts in. Far side, feeds it across, a shot by Flume into the pad, covered up by the netminder Young. Yeah, Penguins are coming in waves here to start, uh, definitely holding the early advantage in zone time. And uh, you'd like to see them maybe get rewarded for another one here, kind of get a, uh, a good start here with maybe two quick goals. See what that would do to the Marley's confidence. They are 2-1 and one on the 2 one and Two one and one on the weekend. That's right. That's right. They come into this contest. Jeremy ranked fourth in Ontario, uh, with a record of 24, 14 and one, I believe. And uh, again, uh, one game uh, played earlier this year against the Penguins. A three to two Penguins victory. Face off will be right here in your living room as it's Carlson over the dot. Puck dislodged to the near half. While Carlson takes it away. He's been absolutely dynamite in this tournament. As Jones drives in, a backhand pass looking for Halliday. Will come free. Carlson knocked down, gets back up, and the whole time has control of the puck. Yep. As back come the Marlins. Through center. Weaving to the far side. Not really a far, yeah, they're still a far side. As they drive the Penguin zone and carry behind the Cannoli. Rolling puck out in front, defended well by the Pens track, and Burroughs able to work the puck all the way out the center. Here's Halliday, cutting through the neutral zone. Out for Jones, heavy shot, glove hand side, caught with the mitt and held. Yeah, what a great shot there by Jones. And the nice part about it, Jeremy, the, the goalie gloves it. The Penguins get five fresh bodies on the ice with the uh, faceoff in the Marley zone here. So uh, we'll try to take advantage off the faceoff. And the Marlies, Marlboros, you'll hear, you'll, hear, you'll hear them called both. They go by both names officially, the Toronto Marlboros. So that's what you see on your scoreboard. But they shorten it to the Marlies to make it easier on announcers like myself. As Pearsaw has it cycled down low in the corner. It'll come out to the point for Foster. He goes to the opposite corner where Costa and Brenneman battle. Costa able to come away with it. Putting one in front just didn't get through to the stick of Pearsaw. And a shot from Bolas skips wide of the cage. Jeremy, that's two great plays by the Penguins defensemen. They had a guy attacking them when they had the puck. They threw it into a corner to let the Penguins get possession back. 
And the Marlies able to swipe it away down low and quick on the breakout here. Penguins again, defense with a great gap. That's Foster on the far side there, gapping up on the Marley defense as they work it to the corner of the Penguins end. And right now, the Penguins are want, letting them one and done. They're letting them one and done in their end. Not the, the Penguins executing the breakout quite well and putting on the pressure here in the Marley zone as it comes in front. Backhand for it, and the net comes off the pegs. Wow, what a great chance there you saw. Uh, I think it was Golnack creates the turnover. Flume gets it to Carlson. Just a couple really nice plays there in tight. And was unable to kind of elevate. He went to go around the pad, and that skate had kicked the net off, so we'll get a face off here. The Marlies are in white uniforms, a white jersey similar to that of the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Marlboros in Toronto are their AHL affiliate. They do wear that Marley's Le Crown to Leaf logo on the chest with blue pants, white socks, and blue helmets. As they gain the Penguin zone here. Shot goes up off of a stick into the netting behind the cannoli. The Penguins are in their black jerseys. They're coming straight at you on this one, moving somewhat right to left on your TV screen. The gin and juice jerseys of the Pens Elite have the Pittsburgh across the chest from the left shoulder to the, sorry, from the right shoulder to the left hip. Black pants, black socks, gold and white stripes throughout, and the iconic gold Pens Elite helmets. Those gin and juice jerseys, man. Laid back. My faves. They're sharp. They are Look sharp. at Calabrese in them, too. Just like a, like the, like a, like the man in black himself. Oh, he looks good. Looking like Johnny Cash. Cannoli Cash back there. As the Penguins battle in their own end. Set across the zone for Flume. He'll work it all the way out to center for a twisting Carlson. No offsides on the play. And the Penguins will keep that pressure on. It's Carlson. As the lead, the Marlboros try this side. Look Burning at that. In. Look at that back pressure Thanks. by the Penguins there, huh? Excellent back pressure. They're going to need that back check all game long. That's right. As we can see that 84 right there just flying down the wing. This will be a little different task than the Penguins have had thus far. I know Rep Hockey gave them a really good game yesterday evening. A 4-0 win for the Penguins. They didn't have nearly the firepower, I don't think, maybe, of this Marlies team, despite having beaten the Marlies earlier uh, at, it, within their league play, I believe. But uh, I don't think the Penguins have faced a team quite with this much firepower this weekend. Here comes Pearsall. Weaving to the outside, leaving it for Halliday. Halliday on the backhand, able to get it to the corner and dig away. Almost gets his helmet knocked yep. off there, like in a headlock. It's kind of cool being in this vantage point, George. A little closer to the ice than we're used to. Yep, absolutely. As Jones dives in, sends it across. Heavy oh. shot from Halliday, just misses. Went off of a stick and almost caught the twig of Jones crashing the cage. And Lucas Jones is right on the puck. Boy, is he ferocious on the four check right now, Jeremy. Rose, D to D to his partner track, and the Penguins are right back in. The Marlies defending well, but defending a lot. As a puck comes free to Brenham, and he waits, delays, and dumps it in. Penguins complete the line change behind as the Honey Badger gets up on the forecheck. It forces a turnover. Carlson twisting with it, and it's thrown back out through center. No ice here, no ice. No ice, Calabrese will poke it for Bolas, and in come the Marlies on the forecheck. A layered forecheck there, a 1-1-1 one, one, one on the drive-in. F1, F2, F3, F2 taking away the passing lane, and it disrupted the Penguins' breakout there as they'll regroup in behind their own net, getting it up for Brenneman, who chops it past the defender, can't quite track it the whole way down, and back come the Marlies. Up through center. Three on two developing, and a shot to the glove hand side, tracked and held by the Canoli. We're six and a half minutes in here, Jeremy. I think that was the first or second shot uh, that the Marlies have had. Calabrese equal to the task there, flashing the letter. And, uh, yeah, a face-off in the Penguin zone. I think the first, uh, first face-off so far in the Penguin zone. Puck battled four, and there's another shot that comes into the chest area of Calabrese, he's able to hold on to it. Yep, squeeze that one tight, we get another face off. Looks like we've got the, the chat flow and make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you hit the subscribe button, you can join us on the chat and messages here in the booth, get your questions answered. 
uh, as well as interact with us here on City TV. And if you don't know how to subscribe, it's usually it'll be your Gmail account. Log into your Gmail account. It also works for YouTube if you have a Gmail account. It works for YouTube, and you can hit the subscribe button as the Marlies getting their first sustained pressure of the game down low. But back come the Penguins. Just as I say it, the OG breaks out. It's oh. Bearsall driving the net. It goes off the backhand and just wide. Nice pass there by the OG. And something I noticed here, and I expect to see a lot more of it, the Marlies kind of finishing checks yeah. a little bit. Non-hitting, and they didn't explode through, but no. they're going to finish by putting a body on you and try to wear you down that way. We see the Penguins wear teams down with a four-check as they come back in on another two-on-one. Golnack trying to recenter. It doesn't quite come through to Pearsall. Kept at the point by Pelly. In front to the backhand, a heavy shot. The net is off again. Jeremy, I don't know what... Uh... Ronnie has been feeding to Cameron Pelly, but he is flying, just like yesterday. These guys got to hit this uh, post up with a little bit of water, maybe. It'll be Carlson set to take the face off here. On the far side of the Marley zone, the Penguins will win it. Here's Pelly. Pelly with a heavy shot just wide. Looking for number two. Halliday along the half wall. As they battle in the corner. I can't quite see down there, but it looks like it rims all the way to the other side. As it's chopped at and controlled by Carlson. Has a roll off the backhand and back on the Marlies through center. Knocked away. Here's that speedy 84. I noticed him before. Hill line one. Fought off by Calabrese. Picked up behind the cage by Chapel, And the Penguins are right back out. So one and done again for the Marlies as Jones drives into the offense. So weaves outside, cuts inside. Power oh! move and he tucks it in. Lucas Jones through the five hole on a power move to the middle. Shaquille O'Neal drives to the hoop and he slams it home. Five hole Jeremy. Big goal for the Penguins. They've had the pressure. You'd like to see them get rewarded and they were. Lucas Jones just drives to the net and says, do you mind if we dance with Joe Dates? As he tucks it, five hole. And the Marley's coach are arguing the call. It is clearly a goal. He cut to the middle, got him five hole well before the net came off, but the net coming off yet again on that play. Yeah. These referees should spray the net down a little bit with water. It might hold it in better. Pick it up, bang it down a little bit, do something to penetrate the hard ice surface and get those pegs to sink in a little bit deeper. Yep, well, you know, that's what they're looking for. Just pound them in there. <laughs> As the Marlies take the face off into the Penguin zone, trailing by a pair. We tossed behind the cage and picked up by Bros. Rimmed around for Costa. Costa all the way across to a streaking Brenneman. Arm raised behind, so it looks like a Penguins have a power play as Brenneman's dumped headed to the net. They'll only call one likely, but there potentially could have been two as Brenneman was, looked like he was a steer on the Yellowstone Ranch there as he got lassoed, hogtied, taken to the ground. Absolutely, Jeremy, the play by Brenneman there, I like he carried the puck into the zone and he attacked the middle. He attacked the middle, that opened up the lane for Pearsall on the left side. Coach Trevor Edwards would always talk about that. Don't carry it wide, carry it to the middle. That opens up options on both sides. Great play by Brenneman. And the Marley's bench, Talking about it again. Oh, no, I think they're trying to get the penalty on the clock, perhaps. 6-10 to play here, period number one. The Penguins, two. The Marley, zero. The Pens are going to head to the Seven Fields Wealth Management power play. A power play that was certainly potent against Sun County, as well as their penalty kill. That's right. In that one. So this power play clicking on all cylinders right now. The power play unit for the Penguins will be track and bros with... Pearsall, Brenneman, and Costa. And Jeremy, I'm trying to get a feel for what's going on right now. I saw the Marley's coach very animated, very unhappy, and now the refs are huddling at center ice. Not sure exactly what they're debating, but hoping to find out here. While we wait, Jeremy, I'd like to expend a, uh, extend a special Cine TV birthday uh, oh, wish nice. to uh, McKenna. The, the Canoli's sister, McKenna, I believe, turns 15 today. McKenna, if 15. you're out there listening, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, McKenna. If, if he's the Canoli, what would she be? 
I don't know. Okay. Well, if someone has any ideas in the chat, let us know. Hopefully we've got a good stream. Looks like we do. Everything getting out. It looks like a great picture. Yeah. As we continue the conversation here at the bench, the time's on the clock. And yep. we'll go back to the for the Marlies to continue the conversation. I have no idea what this is about. Big Mike, can you zoom in there? He is not a happy camper there. Okay. Are they checking a roster? I don't know what they do. No, nope, we'll get a face off. All right. Nobody knows. Marley's will control the face off. Trying to rim it around and maybe get something gone shorthanded. As here, they'll ice it. It'll be icing. And we've seen this from the Canadian teams a bunch. Different rule for them. That's right. When you ice on the on the on the penalty kill, the, it will be an infraction and come the whole way back. Jeremy, a veteran play there by Brenneman. They ice the puck. He probably could have taken an angle to get it, but no. He took the the veteran defenseman angle, gets the icing, and now the faceoff comes back into the Marley zone. It'll be Pearsall leaned over the dot. Battled for and forced back for Bros. Bros with a heavy shot from outside, screening in front. Muscasa had sailed just wide of the cage. It'll be bounced up off the boards and cleared by the Marlies, who gained center red and dumped it in this time for no icing. They dumped it. They had pressure. Then they all pulled back. Look at their uh, look at them set up almost in a 1-3, uh, defending the Penguins' power play. Trying to defend that blue line and not let the Penguins set things up as they dump it to the corner for track. And they'll go high up off the glass. Keep an eye on that. We've seen that a lot this weekend, too. When you're trying to clear going up off the the uh, plexiglass as it ends up in the skates of the official. Bolas wasn't able to get it for that reason, but Pearsall will now from the Bolas pass as he gains the zone and dumps it in himself. Penguins getting a line change with 30 seconds left on the man advantage. No ice as Bolas tried to pull the uh, quick one there, and it's danger in behind for the Marlies. Nice play by Bolas there to pin him against the boards. Yeah, just take away the kid's ability to make a play and come back with numbers. It's a potential four on three for the Penguins here as it'll be outside Gullnack driving the middle Carlson. Pulling up is Gullnack along the half wall. He'll play it further for Carlson. Carlson twisting out of the corner. He'll find Flume on the half wall. Better Cross for Bolas and deep into the zone. Foster. Down in that bumper position, may not recognize that the penalty has expired. Oh, a double, is it a double minor? They put up, it, they're oh. still running. Maybe that was the whole conversation, was it was a three minute penalty. Okay. Interesting. So a double penalty, maybe they did call the inter obstruction on Brenneman headed in. Oh, okay, here we go. So I would expect to see a little bit more of that style of play there, George. We've seen it from some of the Canadian teams we've played thus far. Yeah, they do not like to be uh, down early here, so you're going to get some grit from this team. Well, and those are the first two penalties called against the Marlies in four periods of action against the Penguins. As it comes free, Halliday with a chance. Forces it just wide, Pearsall following on in support. Goes up high. Danger oh. as Chappie fires one just wide of the four by six. Pelly at the point, knocked out of the air by the stick of Jones, controlled by the Marlies on the along the wall, but a rolling puck will come back to Pelly. Plucks it off the wall, cuts to the middle. We've seen this a couple of times. Just skating with a guy on his back as he fires a missile. And cutting in down the wall was Chapel and back come the Marlies. Guess who's there? Cameron Pelly back on the horse. I mean, that thing's a, a stallion. He could enter the Kentucky Derby if he was three years old. Out of the penguin zone. Is that Pelly again? Uh, snapping it across for Halliday. Halliday with Pelly driving the net, throws it behind the cage. Jones covering the defense, able to pick it up. And the power forward leaves it for Pearsall. His pass to Halliday blocked, but he'll go behind the cage to Jones. He has it knocked away at the last second before a centering pass could come through. And the Marlies will gain center red and dump it in. Good pressure there by the Penguins on the power play. So now all the penalties have expired on the Marlboros, and we play five on five. I'd like to have seen the Penguins get one there. 
But maybe they'll get one here as Jones drives in, carries to the outside, cuts back to the middle. They're not ready for him. He, that's the second time he's made that move. That was an exact replica of the first one. Shaquille O'Neal going back to the hoop. He uses those linear crossovers so well to create space. He's driving through crossover one way, the other way. The defenseman gets leaning one way, and then he just has another gear. He gets around, gets the shoulder in front, drives the cage, and creates havoc in front of the Marley net. Absolutely. What a dangerous player when he gets the motor going. And, boy, it's been going a lot here recently. He's... Uh, He's on the board almost every game. Yeah, maybe it, every game. It's been it's uh, fantastic, and it's great to see, and usually right from his office. Oh, in the blue paint. As a bouncing puck's knocked out of the air for a backhander by Carlson that stopped and held. Oh, Costa so takes a punch to the chin. Some physical plays there in front, uh, but Costa, well, I'll tell you what, he doesn't care. Nope. Toughened up by Sister Abby over the years. As he'll drop it back for the point. That's picked off, and back come the Marlies. Back pressure wow. by Brenneman. As a rolling puck to the half wall. It'll be track. Getting a bit of a whack, and this is what we expect to see a little bit here. They try to take the Penguins off their game with a little bit of extra, and here they are with a scoring chance in front. Kicked out by Calabrese. And the rebound sits there, and the Marlies will get there and tuck it in to make it a one goal game. We know this Marley's team can be dangerous. Uh, they, they established some possession. The Penguins were scrambling a bit there. Rebound and uh, number 34. I remember him the first time we played a dangerous player. And sometimes those players with that knack of scoring, Jeremy, just know where to be when that puck pops out. A couple of whacks, a couple of bumps. Yep. You know, they're gonna, they're, like I said, they're gonna kind of finish checks without finishing the check. Yep. So expect to see a little bit more of that throughout. Especially now that they've had some success, they'll wave Pearsall out of the dot because of flu. On the wing. Oh, no, they won't. Okay. They'll drop the puck. He did wave him out. Did he? Right. I thought so. Anyway, Marley's will control in their own end. Under pressure from the OG. As the defense play catch, it'll be picked off by Pearsall. Works deep into the Marley end. They'll reverse behind, but the OG, the first one to the puck. He goes back to the corner. The Marlies read it, pick that one off, and out through center they come. A rolling puck controlled by Bolas. Off the boards. Good positioning there by Pearsall. He gains position and is able to dump it further. Chopped that by the Marlies, picked up by D'Angelo Flu. Flu unable to kind of knock it cleanly out of the air. It'll be slowed down at center for the Penguins defense. Flume chops it in front of the Marlies net. Picked up there as they try to counterattack through the middle. Now to the area in front of the Penguins bench where Foster battles. They're able to get a step and fire one through the crease that'll come the whole way back. It'll act like a dump in for the Penguins who are getting a full change. Yeah, Jeremy, I'd like to see these shifts be just a tad bit shorter for the Penguins. When they're at their best, they're taking 25, 30 second shifts and just rolling one after another here. So something to see if Coach Ann and, uh, you know, talks about here, especially in between periods. As the Marlies gain the Penguin zone, a centering pass defended well by Carlson deep in the Penguin zone. A turning pass by Jones is intercepted and sent back to the corner. It'll be Pelly there. Behind for Chap. Chappy. Tries to go up the wall, read by the Marlies, centering feet in front, bouncing, puck cleared by the Penguins, it'll be Pelly. Pelly coming with speed, five seconds left as he darts into the offensive zone, cuts to the middle, fires a wrist shot, the rebound sat out front, it'll be covered up, they'll wind the last second and a half, that was enough time maybe for uh, a face-off and a chance, but they'll let it run, and that'll end period number one. Yeah, Jeremy, I would say a pretty good period for both teams. I think the Penguins probably carried the possession, the majority of that period, unofficial Commodore shots on goal. Not uh, 10 for the Penguins and five for the Marlies. I think that's probably pretty accurate. Uh, you always say that. <laughs> I think the Penguins did have the better of the scoring chances through one, and it shows on the scoreboard. Uh, they also had the power play that I think the Marlies actually gained some momentum from on the penalty kill. Two back-to-back, -back, minute and a half penalties, so three minutes total. Yep. Um, 
you know, I thought that was uh, a key part of the game. Maybe in the Marlies gaining some momentum. So the Penguins will try to take that back here in the second. And we've seen numerous times. You mentioned the puck possession. The Penguins' cycle is working down low. If the Penguins can keep that puck possession, we might be able to see that dangerous offensive zone line changes. That's right. That's right. Yeah, when this team's at their best, they are rolling one, two, three lines in one zone possession. And that's even made easier here, Jeremy, in this second period where you can technically change, get to the bench, and still be in the zone. That's really where this Penguins team starts to wear down the opponent. We've got our chat going live, and we'd like to thank Kara for her, Kara or Kara, not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, of course, Ann Stephanie chiming in, Chuck Fish. Jill, Aunt Jill just was up here and now is vacated. And of course, the lovely, the beautiful Carolyn Pearsall joining us live. Thank you guys all for joining us on City TV. Like I said, if you can hear my voice live or on the replay, please hit the subscribe button for us. We appreciate it. Jones up the outside for Carlson. Carlson gets it all the way deep to the corner of the Marley Zone center. He passes right in front. Oh, Pickle boy. stab by Jones as Halliday got a missile off. Great save. Leaning on Carlson behind the net. Jones will come in to support the Marley's banking off the boards, but there's that back pressure from Jones. Able to swipe it away only for a moment before it's sent all the way back for Bros to control in the Penguin end. There's the layers right there, the Marley's forecheck. We saw three Marley's attacking those Penguins, but Penguins were able to counter up ice and dump it in. Here goes Brenneman after the puck. And the Marley fans get a power play here. The Penguins had too many men. They had a player jump on before a player jumped off. A pretty ferocious mock cheer coming from the Marley's parents. I'm not sure whether they were in attendance uh, when yeah. we played earlier this year, but uh, now it's going to be your Pittsburgh Penguins that are going to go to the penalty kill. So the Marley's gain some momentum from theirs. Maybe the Penguins can gain some momentum from this one. With 14-10 to play, they'll be shorthanded for 90 seconds of a 2-1 game. Last time we played, Jeremy, the Penguins did, short, did score a shorthanded goal against these Marley's. Looks like it'll be Bolas and Foster, Pearsall and Brenneman. For the Penguins, and of course, the most important penalty killer, usually the masked man, number 30. I don't know. Calories. What are we waiting on? I think you're trying to figure out how to put the penalty minutes up on the board okay. for the second time. <laughs> Jeremy, I don't know if you saw there. The cannoli was just dancing in his crease. He's loose, and they're just gonna they're just gonna play. They can't figure it out, and they're not gonna run the clock. They're not running the clock. Come on, but like, is he in there on his phone? The Marley fans unhappy. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure how much you can. They're pick used up. to getting yeah, nine nothing penalty calls apparently. I guess not. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure the uh, scoreboard uh, volunteer is just that, Jeremy, a volunteer. Probably not a professional, and uh, everybody's doing their best here, right? If we can't get the penalty on the board, uh, the penalty starts here with 14-10. 90 seconds later, Jeremy would be 12-40. 12-40, yes, okay. So that's something that we can keep an eye on and watch for here. As I was saying, uh, you know, Penguins are about to have a shorthanded face-off in their zone. You see the cannoli just dancing. He's loose. That's when he's at his best. I love it. Now an explanation at the Penguins bench as the Marlies have gotten a nice long time out here to rest their top power play unit. And look for number 34 and number 84. Uh, they seem to be uh, the ones that I've noticed thus far. There we get it up well, on the board. And that's, well, it's always a good day. We can get that penalty on the board, and uh, here we go. Pearsall, Brenneman. Holy schnitzel, what is going on? Halliday serving the too many men penalty for the Penguins. Oh, and now we're running two seconds off the clock. Okay. 
I don't know what the heck. I don't know what is going on, but whatever it is, the Marlies have the puck, and they're on the man advantage. Look for them to set it up for a shot. Calabri snags it as he leans against the, the net. It comes off yet again. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I thought. Well, I don't know what I thought, but you see it's happening with both goaltenders. Yeah. Bolas back for Foster. Foster behind the net. Able to stop and start working up the boards. It'll clear the zone. I don't know why both Marley defensemen were at center ice there on the faceoff. I think they saw uh, Brenneman about the Brenneman and Pearsall about to shoot the zone, and they were worried about the shorthanded chance. As here is Brenneman shooting the zone up the near boards, dumping it in behind for Pearsall to track. Oh boy, he's spun around as. The Marlies gain control, but they're under pressure from the Penguins. Pearsall disrupting in the Marley end halfway through their man advantage. It'll be on the stick of Brenneman. This is exactly what the Penguins want to see. As Brenneman darts to the middle, his feet yanked out from underneath him. The rolling puck sent out to center off of Chappie, and back come the Marlies. Into the pens and for a cross ice feed that goes off a skate to the corner. Controlled there, worked up high. D to D play, pressure from Carlson in the cannoli, has it in the bread basket. 20 seconds left here in the uh, too many men penalty for the Penguins. We hear a train horn. There must be a train, the uh, train tracks here. Either that or that is the sound that they make when Cameron Pelly's about to go right down the tracks. That's right. As a bouncing puck comes off of Chappie. Carlson will get there, sending it up the boards. Gold out there to dislodge. Skate to stick as he gains the zone. One on two here. Knocked down, but he wedges it further, and that will eliminate the Marley man advantage. Halliday on the ice. Replaced by Flume, who's able to pick one off, and here comes D'Angelo Flume down Main Street. Sending one across, tapped by the OG just wide. Carlson to it. Chappie tries to keep it the point, but back on the Marley's potential two on one as they drive the outside. Golnack on the back check, and the cannoli comes across! And sweet buttery crumpets, that was a dandy. What a save there by the cannoli. A sweet pass across to the left winger coming down the slot. The cannoli slides over and shuts the door. What a play. And we'll bring you that replay right here. Look at that. Ryland Calabrese just robbing the Marlies as track comes away with it indirect off the boards for Flume it'll come out to center and roll off a Marley stick they try to regroup in their own end under pressure dislodged Carlson couldn't quite drag it off the wall there and the Marlies will power through Rose under pressure, able to control the puck and find Golnack. Golnack twisting with it along the half wall, sending it towards the middle. Chopping at it was Carlson. It'll come to track. Track up for Golnack. Golnack further up the wall. Carlson there to pressure. Now Flume on the forecheck as the Penguins use that layered approach. He's able to dislodge the puck. And, but the Marlies get control. And they'll fire one off the chest area, the gut of Calabrese. As the Marlies try to set up in the Penguin zone, a cross ice nice play. play. Phenomenal defensive play by Flumes. That stuff goes unsung at times, but lifting the stick, getting body position, look where the puck ends up. That's right, what a play. At the end of a shift too, Jeremy. Excellent work by D'Angelo Flume as the Marlies try to squeak somebody past track. Bros there to defend in the corner. The USS Rowan Bros dislodges the puck to Pearsaw and twisting with it at center comes Brenneman. Darting into the offensive zone. To the corner, where he twists it further for brother Joey. Costa trying to center one. It'll come free to Foster at the point. Back low, rimming the dasher board all the way around. And it'll be a bit of a breakout there for the Marlies, who get it to center, but no further. As Bolas hits Foster. Foster up for Pearsall. He has it knocked away. Bolas at the Penguins line, able to defend well. Bouncing puck again in the feet of Pearsall. Picked up by the Marlies. Pearsall with the back pressure. And, and he's going to oh, try yeah. for Brenneman, and he might have him. It comes off his stick, but it didn't slow it down enough. The Marley goalie out to play it, and we'll have an offensive zone draw for the Pens. Yeah, good look there uh, by Pearsall. Seeing Brenneman shooting uh, behind the defense, Brenneman using that electric speed to get there, and uh, I thought he was going to get to it. 
I did too. Great scoring chance. And honestly, uh, five minutes in here, Jeremy, the uh, the Marlies have probably had the better of the play. Now they had that power play. Yep. But uh, you'd like to see the Penguins start to establish a few uh, shifts here in their zone. I feel like the Marlies are doing a good job in the Penguin zone of trying to force it to the middle and look for one of those dirty ones. Yep. Because I think that I think that's how they think they're going to be able to kind of get back in this one is with a couple dirty net front bouncing puck, get a stick to it kind of plays. As they come through center into the Penguins end, defended by Foster who chops it to the outside. Kicked that by the Marlies, a shot down low, kicked away by Calabrese's pad. Another centering feed goes off of a stick. It'll come to the half wall for the Marlboro defenseman to get control. That's Zetis. Back to the point for George of the Marlies. He'll go down the wall as Carlson and Jones collide. It comes to the stick of a Marley for a heavy shot off of Calabrese. He's able to stick it away. Active stick there. It'll come all the way to the point to be defended by Jones. Stick on puck deflection. And the Penguins clear the zone on their second or third oh, attempt. Boy. And Jones lifted the stick at the last second as he flies into the Marley's cage. He lifted the stick and almost had a, a wide open chance. Yeah, what a play. What hustle, too, at the end of the shift. He uses that those long strides and that speed. I'm looking at the replay here. He, yeah, he lifts the stick. Oh, almost caught that uh, goalie off guard as well. So the faceoff's going to come back to center ice here. That's an interesting call. It should have just come out of the zone, I feel. Anyway, center ice draw nonetheless. It'll be Pearsall winning it towards Flume. Flume will crisscross with the OG and drive in with a power move to the middle. A toe drag couldn't get the shot off. Pearsall follows on in support and gets it to the corner. Lays it behind for Flume. He'll fake one way, pull it the other. It just rolls off of his stick. Oh As they boy. battle in the corner, the bodies hit the floor. I actually thought Flume got lucky there, Jeremy. I think they could have called him. I think they could have called a trip there too, but they play on. And back come the Marlies. Into the Penguin zone. Tossing it behind. Nice and look play. at the play by Pelly to just reverse it. And now the Penguins have time and space on the outside. They'll reverse back the other way for the OG. Behind the back feed for Pelly driving in. He'll stop. He'll start. He'll fire one in a blocker save. Puck kept in for Pearsall along the wall as the Marlies work it behind their own net now. Puck picked off by Carlson. Centering pass for Brenneman's defended. And back come the Marlies. Under pressure from Brenneman. Oh boy. Dislodges it for Carlson. Carlson tripped on the play. They play on. He oh. still has the puck. That might be why. As Costa gets control. To the corner for Carlson. Back up top. Here's Pelly. Down low oh. for a deflection by Brenneman that just misses. Great read by Cameron Pelly in that one. And the Marlies jump back out the center for a dump in. Calabrese will toss it off to the side. Penguins trying to spring one. Here we go. Brenneman up the wing. Supported by Carlson as he stops. Darts in. Fires one. Rolling puck doesn't quite get through. Brenneman to it, though. Penguins off the half wall. Whoa. All the way through the crease. Couldn't get a twig to it. And poke it by. And the Marlies will send it back out to center. Rose indirect off the boards. Pop that by Brenneman, but controlled by the Marlies. Pearsall will get control, looking for Brenneman. Couldn't connect. Now Burroughs gapped up at the blue line. The Marlies bouncing puck. There's oh, one that they won, and that'll save. come off the shoulder of Calabrese. And the Marlies put it back in on an offside play. What another! What a great save there by the Cannoli. He stood tall, Jeremy. A lot of times those goalies, they can just go down, immediately kind of drop low, but he stayed up, kept that chest up, and the puck just caught his shoulder, his left shoulder, and keeps the Penguins up by one here with 6.55 to go in the second. Pearsall wins the face off to Foster. Foster goes up the boards, trying to tip it past a couple defenders, and it will. Here's Halliday in, trying to center one for Jones. That's disrupted by the defense of Toronto. Toronto up the near side for the Penguins end. A nice three on two play there Whoa. to free one up and shot skips wide of the Penguins four by six cage as it's worked to the near corner. Good body position by Toronto to get control. They'll rim it all the way around. Halliday unable to get there. The 
Toronto defense keeps it in and they make the Penguins chase. Oh boy, a heavy hit and the Marlies are gonna get called, they should. Three on one for the Penguins as a rolling puck. Back in front! And there is Jimmy Halliday! With a luxury condo in Roof City, baby, a one-time tap, tap, tap from the side, and the Penguins lead 3-1. What a great play. You see Foster at one end of the ice take the shot. It was a delayed penalty. He didn't retaliate. The puck goes back down, 3-1. to one. They execute. What a play there by the Penguins to finish. 3-1, Pens. What a phenomenal play. As we get, I, I gave you the replay. We're getting the replay now. Executing the three on one across ice pass, rolling puck comes right back across. And I mean, that was a yawning four by six. Wow. Was that, I think that was Jones in the back door. It Maybe was. It back. What a play. It was Halliday to Jones, Jones back to Halliday. And the Penguins have reestablished a two goal lead here in the second. The Marlies with a nice breakthrough center, but the back pressure of the Penguins will disrupt it at first. They'll dump it in now. Pelly to it. Just out skating people at the moment. Wow. As he fires it up the outside for Golnack. Here we go. In for Carlson. He's got Flume. He'll fire near side off the iron. Golnack swipes one to the, towards the cage. He had that corner. It just caught iron. You could hear that the whole way from over there. Now they might have heard it in Pittsburgh. That ringing you hear right now in Pittsburgh, that's Jack Carlson hitting the iron. <laughs> Takes a while for sound to travel. Look at the OG, Jeremy, just bringing his lunch pail. I don't think his feet have stopped moving once, just digging away, keeping the pressure in the offensive zone. As it's up off the glove of Pelly, it'll come the whole way back into the Penguins' end. Chappy back to get it. The Marlies looking for a change. Five new Marlies on the ice as the Penguins try to take advantage. Here comes Pearsall in. Three on two develops. Sends it across for Brenneman towards the cage. Rebound in front. One try. Two tries, still loose, still loose in front, and the Marlies will clear. Wow. Rose at center, more scoring chances for the Pens. The next goal is going to be a big one here, Jeremy, and I can feel it coming. I can too. I think this might. I, I I don't know why I feel like they might break it open here a little bit, as the Marlies look to ice the puck and will getting the puck out of their end. And yeah, this Penguins team, they can smell blood in the water. Uh, when they feel like they have a team on the ropes and they have that look right now. You see some of the uh, Marley parents looking just to get out of this period, reset, and uh, hopefully the Penguins, with 4.31 to go, can break through again. It's going to be Pearsall to take the face off. Picked up by Burroughs. Down low as the Penguins work it to the middle of the ice for a shot that goes off Brenneman. Battled four in the corner. And he turned out the center. Track there. Up to the line. Turning it in. Here's Pearsall. Coming in. A backhander wide of the cage. Penguins are working after it. Here's Track. Back to the corner. Good safe play. As the Penguins didn't have anybody in front, that could have been dangerous. Track makes a great play, and the Penguins hem him in a little bit. Marley's trying to counterattack, but the back pressure of the Penguins taking it away. Guess who? Bredeman. Here comes Pearsall battling deep. Good support by Costa as the Marlies try the opposite side now. The defense and the wing cutting it off. A puck skipping just over the blue line and the Marlies will get control. Oh. Interference there at the line. Oh, getting away with one there. The Marlies taking out the Penguins defenseman at the line, letting his partner cut through. Had the uh, veteran play, veteran interference play there by the wing, huh? I liked it actually. As Brenneman will glove it down, we'll have a hand pass, it looks like. And it'll be a face off outside of the Penguin line. 3.16 to go here in the second. Uh, we see uh, our friend Sue Bates checking in on the chat. Go Jack, go Pens. Thank you, Sue. You too can chat with us live. All you got to do is click the subscribe button. Five minutes later, you'll be able to chat with us here in the city oven. As Carlson comes in, moving towards the middle, and a backhand gobbled up by the goaltender. Jimmy Halliday having himself a game there. Really strong power move. Pulled it to the backhand, and I thought he was going to get that one just up over the 
the pad of the goaltender, but uh, great save there. Here will be Carlson. Now Jones. Cross ice feed broken up by the Marlies, but Jones stays right with it and takes it back. As the Marlies wanted an offside, apparently, yeah. and they are very, very vocal as Foster gets control. Rolling puck comes off Bullis' stick, so he'll control it back to Foster, and the Pens will look to gain some space. Good job by Foster there, kind of delaying. I thought he was going to try to go across to Jones, and the player jumped right in front at the last second, taking away that passing lane, and Foster held onto it and went the other way as Bolas tosses it back to the corner. See, Good play. See that play by Bolas? The, the, the defensemen are making such great reads in the offensive zone to get the puck to space and let the forwards go win those battles. Puck chopped wide of the cage. Carlson there to get it. Oh Comes up from behind with a nasty backhander, and he is cross-checked. He is cross-checked heavily after the shot. No call. Mm, I don't see the Marley fans complaining about that. No. no I want to see that again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like maybe even a shot to the legs, back of the legs. Yeah, right to the back of the legs. Yikes. Well. It'll be Pearsall to the dot in the offensive zone. Penguins leading by a pair. One back to... Pelly with a shot. That's kicked out by the goaltender. I've been impressed with the Marlies goaltending in this one. Yep. Young has been excellent. As it's kept at the point again. This time, Ooh. Flume with a hammer towards the cage. Yeah, Hallets are there by uh, D'Angelo Flume at the center point. I think he was covering up, very, being very responsible for Chapel, who carried the puck down. And, uh, you know, that's, again, a, a trademark of this team. Being smart, covering for your teammates, looking good. Be another offensive zone draw. This to the right of the Marley goaltender. Pearsall wins it cleanly back to Chappie. Set play. Look out. Chappie fakes the shot. Gets it in front for the OG. In front for Pearsall, who twisted one through the crease. As Chapel defends at the Penguin line. Now Pierce saw it center, able to pull it around a defender, finding the OG. OG all the way across the flume with space and a nasty wrist shot. Comes off the glove, swipe that by the Marlies, and they'll clear out the center off the glove of Chapel. Oh. Down to his knees, and his pass doesn't connect. Back Pelly to make a play. Pulling oh, it around, but the cannoli goes splitsies. Jeremy, what a save by the Cannoli. I actually think and they're going to get two penalties here. Well, and I think you might get one on the Marlies. Yes. The young man for screaming at the referee right there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, boy, the Marley player with a great power move to the middle, and I thought he had it. He thought he had it. But the Cannoli, he had other plans. What a save. Minor penalty interference, the call. And no call on Toronto, so they. But they're going to go talk to the coach. I well, maybe not. Yeah, I thought they were going to get one. And good to see number ninety for the Penguins, Jack Carlson, back on the ice. Good to see he's no worse for wear. I can tell you, if I was an official, I'm not sure that young man would have gotten away with, with, with screaming at me that way. As the Marlies set up the man advantage, block by Burroughs. Oh. puck forced just wide of the cage. Carlson in deep to get control. And the Penguins, Carlson, a, a human breakout as he's able to get it up to the Marley end. They'll regroup there and try to gain the Penguins end under back pressure as they go off sides, wristing one off the cage of Calabrese. As they do, it'll be a face-off in the neutral zone. You know, an underrated part of Jack Carlson's game, Jeremy, is his defense. You know, you see him carry the puck, you call him a one-man breakout. But he's also the first man back lifting the stick of the Marlies player uh, to disrupt that play and cause the offsides. He's a great 200-foot player. Uh, his offense can be so electric, sometimes people overlook how solid he is defensively. That's Bros will ice it here. And with 101 left on the man advantage, but, but only 50, or sorry, 45 seconds left in period number two here. 
Penguins leading 3-1. Marley's with a chance to get back in it. We'll go by the game clock. As the, hopefully the Penguins will start the third shorthanded. Penguins have Brenneman and Carlson with track and bros defending here. Played across, stick on puck by oh! Carlson, and what a read by Calabrese again. Boy, he is lights out here, Jeremy. A 10-bell save by the Cannoli. Yeah, sliding across, and you know what? I thought it was going to be an open net, but his entire body was there. That's how quick he was laterally to make that save. That's one of those plays that, like, Carlson does a great job getting stick on puck, and it results in maybe a, a better scoring chance because of the oddness of the play. As a shot comes in, he's... Calabrese is able to stick it to the outside. Bros pressuring as the Marley support and get it back to the middle for a rising shot that misses high short side off of a penguin stick. 14 seconds left on the period. Down low in front comes the whole way through. Good defense there in front by the Penguins. Five seconds. They'll go back to the point. Heavy shot. Deflects in wide of the cage. Wrap around off the head of Bros into the chest of Calabrese. Boy. And the Penguins escape. I'll say that was a uh, a wild end of the period. The Penguins are going to still have to kill off 50, uh, 16 seconds of the the Chapel Minor. But uh, the Cannoli just absolutely standing on his head right now. As you see his father, Larry Calabrese, probably a happy camper walking by the city booth. Uh, really keeping the Penguins... Uh, not only in this game, but up by two with some yes. of that spectacular goaltending. We're going to go to intermission here for a minute and come back for the third. Welcome back, folks. Third period action here from Plymouth, Michigan. It's the Marlies and the Penguins, Toronto and Pittsburgh. The Penguins leading by a score of 3-1. to one. They had 16 seconds left on the penalty kill when we started. An offside play by the Marlies, 10 seconds in. will leave them with six seconds left of the man advantage to start the third. Look for Chapel coming out of the box here. I wonder if he goes onto the ice or whether he swaps with someone on the bench. He's swapping from some uh, Brenneman. Brenneman comes on the ice. And the Penguins play take. This skate couldn't get it through to the cage. And back come the Marlies. They carry through center. Heavy shot off the blocker. Calabrese picked up by Brenneman. Rimmed around. And up the wall between the legs of Pearsall. The Marlies try to regain the Penguin zone. Chopped up by Costa. Picked up by the Marlies. The rolling puck controlled and dumped into the corner. It'll be Foster back behind the cage to get it. Leaving for Bolas, who reads it perfectly, and the Penguins will escape through center. A feed by Pearsall, trying to hit Brenneman, who tried to split the defense there, and back come the Marlies. Penguins are in a bit of a change, yep. so a big stop there by Calabrese will be picked up by Pelly, who wedges it out to center and is able to chop it past. Halliday gathers the rolling puck, sends one in front. Carlson there, but the goaltender able to get the mitt on top and get a stop and play. Yeah, great play by Halliday and Carlson there. Also a great play by the Marlies netminder. Uh, now, Jeremy, with uh, 13 minutes to go, I feel like I should mention, uh, you know what, I'm going to mention it at the next whistle. Mention it at the next whistle. It's a teaser, everyone. A teaser. So they call it in the biz. <laughs> As Carlson controls in the corner. Back for Bur for Jones. Jones up top for Pelly. Pelly to Chapel. As the Penguins possess the puck. Oh! Deflected by Carlson just wide. Jones will leave it, but this line has been dynamite out here today. Big time. Definitely the Penguins best so far. As Carlson controls. And just patient with it. Comes off the wall. Leaves it for Chappie. Chappie's heavy shot. Fells a forward, but it was blocked and it's picked up by... The Marlies at center. They'll gain center red and dump it in behind Calabrese, and it'll rim the whole way around. Can Chappie get oh, there? He yeah, will. What sure a will. job by Chappie. Just yeoman's work there to win the race of the puck, and back come the Penguins. 
And if this ends the way I hope it does, almost, we could have gone back and looked at that Chappie play one more time. As Halliday shoots one, that's blocked. Bros will go all the way around, just past the reach of Mr. Jones. As Jones defends on the back pressure, comes off of track, it'll be picked up on the backhand by Burroughs behind the net. A one touch off the wall by Halliday oh. to Pearsall. As Jones, or I'm sorry, as Burroughs sends it but through the neutral zone, the Marlies will intercept and come back in. Twisting into the Penguin zone, feeding it back all the way through. Doesn't connect and here is Flume up for the OG. In front for Pearsall with speed. He'll dart to the outside, leaving it for a hefty blast from Flume. Oh. Loose puck in front, and we get a whistle. Boy, a late whistle there. I thought the goalie had it, but great pressure. You see the Penguins coming up, all three players flying. It did pop out, but there's no way you saw that from no, very well. No, so. that's right. So, uh, yeah, a little delayed there. Face off now in the Marley's zone. Just under 12 minutes to go here, third period action. Penguins three, Marley's one. It looks like we get some, some kudos here from Chuck saying Cine TV is better than ESPN. I would agree. Yeah, Chuck knows what he's talking about. ESPN makes a little more money than we do, though. <laughs> As Goldnack in the Marley zone. Penguins changing a defenseman. Maybe now two is Pearsall. Over for Golnack down low, flew with a backhander, kicked out, and the net comes off again. There's that net continuing to come off, boy. Hmm. I hate that. I hate it as well. Jeremy, what I was going to say earlier, the Penguins up by two right now. Now, I don't think anybody has any clue as, as to what's actually happening with the seeding going into the tomorrow's game, but some people have said the Penguins need to not only win this game, but win by four goals. I don't know that to be true, but just something to keep an eye on, not just wins and losses, but also the margin of goals as well. And that's the unfortunate part of the way that apparently, and we don't really know. We've heard rumor that it should be, that it may, be, may have switched to one and two in the U.S. playing for going to the championship. If not, it's somehow one and four would play, and two and three would play, but only one of those teams goes on to the championship, and likely the one seed, unless they would lose to the four, would be the representative. Just a, a, an odd tournament design, but... Um, that's the way I understand it to be. That's what was sent out at the beginning. Now, there have been some rumors that they may have switched it to one and two in each country to play each other. Look out. As a missed puck at the blue line, and in comes Carlson. Diving in. Chop that from behind. You have to call that. Wow. He got a stick to the skate that threw him off as he came in, and the referees do not make the call not only did i think it would be a penalty i actually thought it would be a penalty shot as he was clearly with possession behind the marley's defense but uh no no penalty called there hmm. okay nice shot on goal by cameron pelly and the penguins go to work in the marley's end here's halliday top of the zone shooting off the stick and a beautiful save as Pearsall deflected that in, the goalie had the pad down and it was able to make the save. Another excellent stop by the Marley Netminder. Another dangerous play there by uh, Jones and Halliday. As the puck's dislodged, here come the Marley's a potential three on two developing. Jones with the back pressure. Just take his feet out from underneath him. That was legal before as they shoot one from a tough angle off of the cannoli. And the Marlies try to set up in the Penguin zone, but it'll be Chappy getting to the puck with a little bit of space. Up for Pearsall. Downhill, there's that F3 pressure we'll see sometimes from teams. They kind of let the Penguins defense come out there. They retreated a bit, almost into a neutral zone style trap right. just inside the blue line there as they loft a shot in. Oh! The Cannoli gets one and a second with the right pad. Spectacular uh, pad save there by the Cannoli. If anybody knows a caricature artist, I'd like to speak with them about squish and cannoli shirts. They would be a huge seller. Squish and cannoli t-shirts. So good. The squish and cannoli combination. As Carlson will get it in the Penguins end. It's like Coach Fowler checking in as well. 
Everybody impressed with Ryland's game here as Flume drives one to the cage looking for the deflection off of Golnack. I love that play by Flume, throwing it on net, good things happen. Yeah, two guys crashing. As Carlson will pull it off, he's got a bit of a path and just dislodged at the last second. Carlson keeps his feet though, able to control the puck at the neutral zone and get it back to track. A rolling puck disrupted by Golnack. Track will pick it up, sending it all the way into the Marley's end. No icing on the play. Flume up on the forecheck. Marley's try the near boards here. Disrupted by Carlson and Flume. Carlson, I don't know how he does stuff uh, like that. Just put it between the legs, pick it up on the other side. Like, just his awareness is just unbelievable. Those The dexterity in his mitts as Flume goes off the wall looking for the OG slicing across. And an offside play and the Marlies oh make players just screaming at the referee about an offside yeah. as he blew the whistle. <laughs> okay. Huh. Some passion in the building tonight here, Jeremy. 8.43 to go in the third. Penguins up by two. Marley's trying to make a push as they gain the Penguin end. Driving the right wing side, they'll pull up there. Twisting it down low to the corner. A centering pass comes off of Pearsall to the area behind the cage. Penguins center ice, but will get control. And ramp it off the stick of Costa, who's out the center for Brenneman. Look out. What a feed by Costa as Brenneman cuts outside, now inside. Oh. Driving all the way into the offensive end, just couldn't get the shot through. What a play there. Dangerous as Costa loves that physicality, takes a bump, makes a play, and the Penguins back on the puck. It'll be countered by the Marlies up to center ice where is that Foster makes a nice play to dislodge things, and a bouncing puck comes to the near half wall. Marlies with it in their own end. Up the right wing, it's George. Getting it to the line, but no further. Porto sends it. Across and Bolas gets control. It'll come off the stick of Costa. Gathered in by the Marlies as we hit the halfway mark of period number three. Make sure you got period three, you do. And the Marlies drive one in off the stick of a Penguin defenseman. Picked up behind the cage. Marlies with a couple chances here in the last couple minutes as a blocked shot by Jones. Great block there by Jones, using that big frame, Jeremy, to keep that puck away from the cannoli. Reversed by the Marlies to the corner. Bolas chaps, taps it forward for Foster. Foster up the outside. Just missed Jones, but it'll end up at center nonetheless. Halliday with the pressure, forcing the turnover. Here's Foster. Back up for Halliday. Taps it in the air, chops it out of the air. Here's Carlson with a backside feed. Just couldn't connect with, jo with uh, Halliday, and Jones will fire one from the wall towards the cage that's into the chest and cover. Reminding everyone uh, to tune in after the game for the Commodores three stars of the game. No shortage of folks to choose from here uh, thus far, but a lot of hockey left to be played, so we'll see. Make sure you click that subscribe button. You can also find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course the .com, citytv.com, citytv.com for all your City TV apparel and hopefully soon Squish and Cannoli shirts. That's right. As the puck's controlled by the Marlies to center. They'll dump it in, but there's Cameron Pelly to block that play. And the Penguins possess behind their net. Chappie sends it up the outside. Comes all the way to the point for a heavy shot. It's kept out by Calabrese and cleared by the Penguins. Bouncing puck sent back in on what will be an offside play as two Penguins come together just outside the Marley line. Well, Calabrese just sharp again there on that scoring chance. And uh, you just love to see that. When, when a goalie gets in the zone like that, and you just tell, you know, they're not going to beat him right now. This is going to take their very, very best. We'll see down the stretch, but he is dialed in right now. Looks like Pearsall on the dot. Penguins control the draw. Up for the OG. The OG will dump it into the corner. Now the Marlies regroup and rim it around behind. Here comes Flume on the pressure. And that pressure forces it up the wing. It'll go past Bros, picked up by the Marlies as they dart in. The stick of track. Wow. He's been just stellar all weekend as well. Oh! What happened there? The puck bounced up in the air, and the net is off again. Looking at the replay on our screen here, the puck goes out in front, 
and I'm not sure if it went up off the crossbar maybe. I don't know. I heard something. I saw the puck pop up in the air, and from this distance, I couldn't see much other than sticks swinging at it and the net going like twisting off of its moorings. As the Marlies win a draw, Whoa. fire one, tracked perfectly by Calabrese and held. These are big face-offs right here, Jeremy. You'd like to see the uh, the Penguin center iceman, Pearsall, pull that puck back, get it to his defenseman, and start the breakout. And now they're going to switch forwards on the, the Marlies unit here. Look for them to do something a little different. But the Penguins win it. Good win there. It's rimmed around, and we play Twister here along the boards. A rid of a wrestling match. As Pierce saw pressures, he almost dislodged it. It would have been he and Flume alone. No, they're going to call a, uh, a penalty on someone here. I'm not sure who. It's the Penguins penalty interference the call on the OG Golmack. I didn't see it. I did not see it. But uh, it doesn't matter if I saw it. No, it does not. It does not. It'll be a penalty on Golmack. And the Pens will head to the penalty kill. Okay. All important penalty kill. Yeah, you'd have to think uh, the Marley's going to pour it on here. Maybe even call a timeout. The MedMal1.com penalty kill. No, they're going to they're going to drop the face off at center. And I'm not sure why. Neither is the Marley's bench. And they'll ask for an explanation, and it's because of the goaltender. Okay, so this is a rule. The goaltender did not get off of the ice completely and when a goalie changes it is not like a player you do not have the cushion the, the leeway the five foot in theory leeway the goalie has to get off onto the bench or it's an automatic whistle and the face off comes into your end now because it was a penalty on the penguins they're going to put the face off at center ice i think this is a a good call as the marlies had a set play there, there did you see did. their defense I, oh yeah sure did they were trying to spring two, I think, wingers from the defensive spots. They lined the defense up at wing, and the wings up at defense, and just fired the defenseman down, trying to break it out. But here come the Penguins shorthanded. Yeah, As Flume will flip one in. Love that play by Flume. Gets the puck in deep, gets fresh bodies on the ice. Love to see that teamwork. We, we call it the Shuby flip in the uh, 2010 team. Carter Shub patented that. As the Marlies drive in, and there's a Penguin defenseman eating a puck. That's Foster. His dad does not feed him on game days, so he's hungrier for pucks. So only pucks on the menu for Danny Foster on game days. As the Penguins defend it, Bolas keeping the Marlies to the outside here with the man advantage. As they pass it back and forth, 30 seconds left on the penalty. 4.20 left in the game. Good pressure here. Marley's having a hard time getting, you know, a quality chance, but the puck has been in the Penguin zone here for the last minute or so. It makes that change that they were able to make so important on the dump by Flume. Yep. As they're, they call it. No, they're not. They're going to call icing, but they need oh. to call a cross check because Carlson was just, they just tried to it, it cut him in half. Yeah, that was a... That was a dangerous play. You know, if you're on the Penguins bench, you're telling the boys to keep their heads up. Behind the play, but I thought the ref could still have seen that. It'll be icing on the Penguins. Eight seconds left on the penalty to Golnak for interference. Yeah, that's oof. As the Penguins clear the zone, the time will expire and the OG is released from the sin bin. The Marlies oh, firing one through the crease off of Calabrese and kept out. Pelly to the corner. He'll battle there. Pearsall in support. He'll send it up the boards, just couldn't quite clear. It's wedged out the center. Here comes Jones with speed. We've seen this before as he drives the outside. This time he'll pop it to the corner and chase it down. Love to see that. Oh, and he's going to head off here. Got to touch the puck here, boys. Got to touch the puck. As Jones finishes a check behind the net. And the Penguins will head back shorthanded. Yeah, 319 to go in the third. The Penguins will spend 90 seconds, maybe, shorthanded, hopefully, uh, shorthanded. And uh, I, I want to see the replay. I'm not sure whether that, uh, did the player turn at the last minute 
I'm not sure. Finishing the check there, he's still going to get. I mean, that was a, that's a right call. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the faceoff will come back to the Penguins and the Marlies with a couple of good chains. I thought the Penguins defensively kept them to the outside for most of that last power play, but you're right. It was possession in the Penguins zone over and over again, and it looks like maybe it is a two, a one and a half and an eight for Jones. Is that right? One and a half and an eight? Yeah, because that it'll be a it, probably a check from behind. So one and a half and an eight for Jones. So he'll be done for the game. 3.19 to play in the third. Dolnak serving the penalty on Jones. As Carlson pulls it out, up for Halliday, kept in by the Marlies. But Carlson will wag it down anyway. Oh, they said no ice there. No ice. That should have been ice. As Halliday oh. gets to it, pulls it around, shoots one in, kept out by Young. Power move by Halliday. I loved it. Looked like Kevin Stevens out there. And a twister move there on Halliday behind the play. The Marlies come back. They'll, they'll take a four on three. They were holding up Halliday behind the play. Carlson gets right into the scrum there at the top of the zone. Able to knock the puck free as the Penguins pin it along the boards. 2.40 to go. The Marlies goaltender not looking at the bench yet. We'll see if they pull him. It'll be Chapel behind. Marley's control, sending one in front, one timer. Oh. Defended well by the Penguins, 35. Halliday will get up on the four check. The Penguins able to change three of four penalty killers as Halliday takes it away behind the cage. Comes out in front. Oh! Two, and there it is! Lordy, Lordy, look who's shorty. It's Jimmy Halliday just out working the Marlies. Boy, he was like the energizer bunny. He would not be denied. He went to the crease hard, Jeremy. And I, we, we've been speaking about it the whole game. This this combination of Halliday and Jones just been all over the score sheet, and he was possessed on that play. Wow. And we're going to bring you that replay, but heavens the best, that puts the Penguins up 4-1 here. Jimmy Halliday with just a man's move right there. And oh baby, sausage and gravy, the Penguins lead 4-1. A short-handed goal. And the Penguins right back in, here comes Pearsall. Down low, oh, backhander what a is save. gloved. A 10-bell stop at this end as Flume and Pearsall hook up right off the faceoff, drive the Marlies in. They play catch back and forth for a backhander that's gloved in hell. And Jeremy, nine seconds left in the, uh, the Penguins uh, penalty here. Still short-handed. Penguins bench into it. Yeah, they are. I think the Pens off controlled by the Marlies. Bench wants one more goal here. As it'll be tossed up the wall, here's Burroughs. Burroughs reversing for Flu. And it'll be an offside play on the Marlies. And that should spring. I think it did. It sprung the player. You still, you still see Jones in the box as he serves uh, the full eight minutes. But uh, now with 1.45 to go, we are playing five-on-five five hockey. I can tell you I've been amused all game at this caution floor slippery when wet sign that is hanging off the side of the boards. <laughs> like six feet above anyone's head who could possibly read it. But anyway, Costa comes in with a heavy shot. Rebound out front. Cleared by the Marlins. 90 seconds left. Hungry for that, hungry for that fifth goal here. They need it. They want it. Toe drag in. Calabrese with a stop. Poked at the rebound by the Marlins. He'll keep that out and back on the Penguins. Three wide as they gain the zone. Pearsall oh. inside has it just dipped away at the last second back on the Marlies. With a three goal deficit, I don't expect them to see the goalie come out. A shot in on Calabrese able to cover it up, hold on to it, and get a whistle. Now there was actually some speculation, Jeremy, before the game if the Penguins were winning three by three goals, would Coach Ann consider polling the goalie in to an effort to, yep, to get the number one seat? Right, because whether they finish two or three doesn't matter. To get the number one seed, we think they need to win by four. You don't see it often. A team up by three goals pull a goalie, but maybe. The way the Canoli's playing, he could just join the rush. Oh my gosh. Knuckle puck from back there. As Golnax on the four check. Puck comes free out, it's center, it's Bolus. D to D for Foster. It does not look like we will see it unless we see it on this rush. Nope. Here comes Flume, dumping it into the corner. 
The OG in after it. Puck comes off the mid of Carlson, cleared by the Marlies. Here's Flume. Flume to the goal neck. On saw, they caught it. I thought that was the right call. Wow. Nice play there. The Penguins in transition. You see Flume trying to flip the puck up to goal neck. And uh, if it was offside, it wasn't offside by much. Remy Stetz joining the conversation here. As the Penguins get it in, uh, offsides again. Another one, okay. 23 seconds left, third period. Penguins four, Marley's one. Face off one back there, here we go. Chappie to Pelly. Pelly, winds, fires. He had the opener early in this one. Halliday with a great play to play takeaway. Along the wall, just, I mean, just like a, a man among boys right now. As Pearson wraps it around, a puck bouncing around in front. Will be covered up with two seconds. Wow, great chances there at the end. And who, not, who else other than Halliday? Bang it away. I think you're gonna see this. I think you're gonna see the slip play on the faceoff here. I think he's gonna try to win it forward and tap it over to Hallett. Oh no, they're just gonna send uh, Pelly in to just ram it. And the Marlies will control. That'll end this one. The Penguins will be victorious by a score of four to one. We will be bringing you action tomorrow morning at either seven or eight thirty from some rink somewhere in Michigan. Hopefully eight thirty. So hopefully eight thirty as we'll see the handshake lines here. Thank you for joining us on City TV. I want to throw it over to the Commodore for the Commodores. Three stars of the game. Jeremy, number three, uh, third star of the game for the Penguins, number 27, Cameron Pelly. He led off the scoring. He was electric from the drop of the puck. Great game by Cam Pelly. The second star of the game, he was stellar throughout, made big save after big save. Number 30, the Cannoli, Rylan Calabrese, and the number one star with two goals and an absolute menace, a possessed effort, Jeremy, from start to finish. Number 19, Jimmy Halliday. What a game. Those are your three stars. The three stars brought to you by the training table at the Lemieux Center. Thank you for joining us on Cine TV as the Penguins go 5-0 and through pool play. They've done everything they can do. Now we find out the seedings and the rest of the tournament format, and we will tell you all about it tomorrow morning when you join us here on Cine TV. Thank you and good night.